In this video, we're going to inscribe a regular hexagon inside a circle. And by regular, I mean that all of the sides are the same length and all of the angles have the same measure. So I don't just mean a boring hexagon. I mean a hexagon that has the specific properties of all of its sides have the same length as each other and all of its angles have the same measure as each other. So let's hop over to GeoGebra and get started. First, I'm going to want my more involved construction tools because I am going to need my compass tool. And I'll start by creating a circle AB here with A as the center of the circle with the radius AB. And then I will get that a little more nicely centered on the screen. And you may remember from the video where I did the triangle, where I ended up with six points all the way around, and they were evenly spaced. So that is exactly the same process I'm going to use this time, because for a hexagon, I'm going to want six equally spaced points to form my hexagon. So I'm going to go through this a little more quickly than I did in the previous video, because it is an identical process to what I did in that video. where I am making all of these circles that are the same size with this radius AB and anchoring them all on the previous circle so they're all exactly a radius AB away from each other as well. And this time I'm not going to worry about the aesthetics and I'm not going to make those last two circles that just make it look a little more finished because I have my six points and that's all I actually need. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into show hide and hide my extra circles so that you can see it a little more clearly with just the points. Because now I have six equally spaced points. So to form a regular hexagon, I just connect each point, unlike with the triangle where I connected every other point. And that will form a regular hexagon. And at this point I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and check my work since I'm here. So I'll use my angle tool and I'll confirm that every angle has the same measure. I have misclicked on that angle tool. I will do it again. D E F and that's 120 E F G, and that's 120, F, G, B, and that's 120, G, B, C, and that's 120, B, C, D, and that's 120, C, D, E, and that's 120. And I would also confirm that with the side measures, which I will skip because you have seen that process in several other videos at this point. And similarly to the other ones, if I adjust the radius, the whole thing stays in that relationship to each other because I built it all around the relationship of A to B radius as the spacing for everything. And if I want to, I can show the rest of my objects again.